What do you mean, broken? Well, fix it then, you stupid bucket. Good, really, machines are so unreliable. Oh, well done, Artu. I knew you could do it. Hello. I am C-3PO, Human Cyborg Relations, and this is my counterpart, R2-D2. We are here at the request of Master Luke Skywalker to record all that we know about the calamitous and quite spectacular events surrounding the fall of the Old Republic and the rise of the Evil Empire. It all began with Anakin Skywalker. Anakin was a most accomplished pod racer. He was just a boy when I first met him. Hello, I am C-3PO. R2-D2, a pleasure to meet you. Anakin demonstrated abilities far beyond his years, which explains how he was able to build something as intricate and indeed perfect as me. Well, I wasn't naked for long. Anyway. Everything changed when the Jedi came to Tatooine. Qui-Gon Jinn recognized Anakin's potential and introduced him to his future Jedi Master. Anakin Skywalker, meet Obi-Wan Kenobi. He also met the girl who would become the love of his life, Padme Amidala. Annie? Master Anakin grew up to be a handsome young man. And a very powerful Jedi. If you'll excuse me. I hate it when he does that. But then he fell deeply in love with Padme, disobeying his Jedi vows. Are you allowed to love? Thought that was forbidden for a Jedi. No, Anakin, no! Well, you don't always do what you're told either. <clears throat> Anakin fought bravely at the terrible battle which began the Clone Wars. But tragically, he turned to the dark side and became Darth Vader, the worst villain in the galaxy. Vader hunted down and killed all the Jedi. Except for Obi-Wan Kenobi, who stayed hidden in the desert wastes of Tatooine, where he could watch over Anakin's son, Luke. Ben? Ben Kenobi? We first met Master Luke when R2-D2 was carrying a secret message from Princess Leia. She was Luke's twin sister, though neither of them knew it at the time. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. Han Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Yes, it was thanks to Han Solo and Chewbacca that we were able to rescue the princess. But Obi-Wan had to face Vader one last time. Red 5, I'm going in. Master Luke decided to join the rebellion against the Empire and became a hero when he destroyed the Death Star. With a little help from Han Solo and, um, R2-D2. <laughs> well, of course I give you credit, when it's due. Like when you helped Master Luke find Yoda so he could be trained as a Jedi. Feel the force around you. Unfortunately, we were all lured into a trap set by Darth Vader. We would be honored if you would join us. Vader wants us all dead. He doesn't want you at all. He's after somebody called uh, Skywalker. Poor Master Luke fought a terrifying lightsaber duel with Vader. Ah! Only to learn the awful truth. I am your father. No! Things looked bad for Master Luke, but his Jedi powers had grown strong. Get alongside that one! <laughs> Obi-Wan encouraged Luke to confront Darth Vader. You will die. But Vader couldn't bear to see his own son suffer. He rose up and destroyed the Emperor. And 
Finally, Master Luke could gaze into the eyes of his father for the first, and indeed the last, time. Yes, very sad, Artu. But Anakin truly did bring balance to the Force and helped make the universe a safer place, even for droids like us. Though with you around, I never feel entirely secure. How dare you! Go switch off!